Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael and today I'm going to be talking about four books I've had that are from 2020 that I have still yet to read. So I guess you can consider this my June TBR. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up we have a young adult novel that when I first heard about it I knew I was going to get it and that is Clown in the Cornfield by Adam Caesar. What can you say about Clown in a Cornfield? I mean the title says it all doesn't it? A murderous clown in a fucking cornfield? Fuck yeah. Let's go. So there have been a lot of mixed reviews about this, but I'm going to read it for myself because that's what you're supposed to do. Don't take others' words for it, except mine. So Clown in a Cornfield is about this girl who moves to this backwoods town with her dad to start a new life for themselves. But once they get there, they find out, well, the town's kind of imploding on itself. The older generation hates the younger generation and vice versa. Um, the teenagers are blamed for causing the fire that burned down an abandoned factory. They're the reasons why this girl ended up dead. But you know what? There's gonna be a clown to come and take care of them for them, so there ain't nothing to worry about there. Clown in a cornfield, man. Hell yeah. So the next one is one I've not heard a lot of people talk about, and that is The Invention of Sound by Chuck Palahniuk. Now, you know him as the author of Fight Club. And, yeah, me too. But, <laughs> apparently, this story is about a man who has been searching for his missing daughter for 17 years. I mean, he's just been out there constantly knocking on doors, looking down every rabbit hole, looking under every bed. No luck. But you know what? His luck's about to change because he's getting ready to get his biggest break in 10 years and that's going to lead him to this other chick that's in Hollywood who creates sounds so realistic you'd swear they were real. I mean the screams she comes up with I wonder how it's going to turn out, but I can't wait to find out. Now, this is a really short one, so it shouldn't take me long to get through it. Probably a couple of hours. Because you know, I'm not the fastest reader in the world. But yeah, it's a pretty cool cover. So next is a thriller that I thought was going to be extremely popular when it came out, but I haven't heard a whole lot of talk about it. And that is... The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. So, all I know about this one is there's this girl. She moves to a town in New York to go work at the Sundown Motel, I believe, because that's where her aunt, yes, I'm from the South, honey, and we say aunt. That's where her aunt worked before she was born. And that's where her aunt disappeared from. So when she gets to the Sundown Motel, things get bad. Yeah. I'm assuming she's going to uncover the mystery of what happened to her aunt. And she's probably going to be in some, in some trouble. Sundown Motel. Let's check in and check it out. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Lastly, is one I know I'm not going to get to, and if I do, I know I'm not going to finish it, and that is this big bad boy, The Living Dead, by George A. Romero himself and Daniel Krause. <laughs> now, you don't even need a synopsis for this. You know exactly what this is. Zombies. That's all you need to know. From the king of zombies himself. Oh yeah. So I do know that George was writing this when he passed away 
and Daniel finished it. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly what happens in this book. I don't know if it's a continuation of the zombie films that Romero did. I don't know if it's a brand new take on the whole thing. If it's a, a remake of sorts in book form. Who knows? It doesn't matter. This is a big boy. I mean, I like big books, but come on. Big books just intimidate me. I'm, I'm good at the 300 mark. That's usually the perfect sweet spot for me. 300 or below. <laughs> this one's 650 pages. It's not the biggest book I've read. But it's the biggest book I've read in a long time. So, we're going to see how it goes. If I don't get it to it this month, We'll get to it next month. The Living Dead. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So that's it. That's my big TBR for June. I'll be lucky to get through the first two. It is halfway through the month, but it is what it is, and uh, I'll get to them eventually. So anyway, thanks for coming by. And it was good to see you. I hope you come back again soon. Until then, keep turning those pages. Bye.